Ladies and gents, NDTV here with another vlog. So, I just finished rendering the uh, the first two parts of the Snow Peak Ruins and Twilight Princess, and I just took a look at the folder I have for Twilight Princess, and holy crap. Just, yeah. It's, I have a lot to work with. Twilight Princess is easily probably the biggest project I've done so far out of the six Let's Plays that I've done. I mean, Mother 3 was pretty big, but Twilight Princess, I think, is an even more production-heavy Let's Play. But that's not saying that my other Let's Plays were bad, in my opinion. At least, yeah, in my opinion, I don't think those were bad out of all of my Let's Plays, but Twilight Princess, I put so much effort into it. I don't know why I'm making a vlog on this, but, yeah. Just, like, I'll show you what my workload is like for Twilight Princess. Because I just released the update video for today. And how I make my Twilight Princess videos. And I didn't go that in-depth into it. At least I think so, but yeah. Like, I have notes here for brightness and set, or brightness and contrast settings. A movie file that has the collectibles. A Vegas file for the actual dungeon. Episode templates. End slates. A list of all the pieces of hearts I have. A list of all the posts. The images I used for the little pop-up thingies. Then folders for thumbnails. All that stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty big project at least compared to what I'm used to. But it's really fun to edit because I like editing. But yeah, Twilight Princess, as much trouble as it's given me so far because my capture card is a jerk, I've had a lot of fun. So like compare like and not compare. Getting rid of the capture card problems, this is probably tied with Mother 3 for my favorite let's play that I've done. But I did like the other let's plays that I've worked on, but Mother 3 is special to me because it's my first let's play and then Twilight Princess it's another really special let's play for me. But speaking of future let's plays, not talking about things that I've hinted at before, but um, I've hinted at uh, making a Xenoblade let's play before, and I already have notes for all of that. I mean, they're not done yet, but look at this. Have a list of all the quests, all the unique monsters, everyone that moves to Colony 6, every single freaking heart to heart. The items I need to reconstruct Colony 6, my character set up by the end of the Let's Play, when quests are available and who comments on them, uh, which, uh, which quests give off the best affinity when they branch off, trailer idea, all of that stuff. It's kind of mind-boggling, actually. But, I don't know. Using this vlog just to I don't, ramble on about how much work I had to do for my Let's Plays. I'm not complaining or anything because I, I enjoy it. It's just, I don't know. I need something to talk about because I'm bored. Because it's 9.44 at night and I've had nothing to do today other than edit videos. But yeah, I'm just going to end it off right here. So see you guys next time for another vlog. Later.